Now we're going to talk about how to create an area of high contrast, which will be the viewpoint that uh, the person looking at the painting will first notice. The way to do this is with the bright white feathers that are underneath the chin and on the neck here, and the dark background behind it. Because when you have something that's high contrast, that is light beside dark, then that creates um, something that will draw your eye in and make you really look at that part. So with the feathers you can see we've got some nice bright lines and the darker areas behind it help create contrast. The other area where we have contrast is in the eye and the little highlight of white in the eye helps us to see that as glassy and reflective um, but it also helps to create a contrast which is what draws our eye into this part of the bird. Now, you have to think about the contrast of the colour that you're putting over the background. Because if it's a high contrast colour, so for example this light, really light blue that I'm putting on now, it will show up really well against the dark. So if you do a white um, on the background of uh, black, it will show up. And if you do a dark tone, on, the, on a lighter area then it will show up as well. So you just want to think about how high do you want the contrast to be. Do you want the brush strokes that you're doing to stand out and be a high contrast or do you want them to blend in with the background and kind of disappear and that's called low contrast. So I do want some low contrast ones as well in the dark areas so you can just use pure black for that because it will so it will show up a little bit and a good trick is just to overlap with some of the light areas so you have a few little bits that come up here and that just creates a sense of um, different tones in the feathers which is pretty realistic for a bird you know a bird isn't going to have one tone of feather. So we can do some lighter tones as well down here. So just some slightly lighter blues and even a little bit of green. And what I like to do here is just have those little brush little brush strokes kind of go off the edge of the bird. Now you have to be careful if you're using wood, be careful you don't make it too watery, otherwise it will just bleed into the wood. So you need to have a reasonable amount of the paint in there as well. Now you can use your creative license during this part as well. You don't have to make it exactly like the image. Um, and some, cause sometimes if the area is too dark or too, too much of one color, it can look kind of boring. So you can just work in a few extra brush strokes just to make it feel, you know, like it has some texture to it. Now if you do go too far with one color and you don't really like what you've done, you can go back over it either with the dry brush or with thick paint if you really don't like it. Um, and I've done that before. If I add texture in and, it, and I don't and I don't think it works very well, I can just dry brush back over it and fix it up. Okay. Now, just looking around the here, we need to look around the other parts of the bird as well. So there's quite a bit of texture that happens in here. So we're going to want to mix like a nice light blue for this area. And these feathers are kind of like this. They're sort of in a, in a little array of feathers. And I can see this just by looking at my photo. Now there's a little bit of green in here as well, so I can just mix up some of the green, just drop that in as well.
And that same kind of um, style of feather is in this part as well. So it's kind of a semicircle feather. Kind of comes down like that. Now I don't need to worry about this area so much because I'm going to be going over it with the white right at the end, the white feathers. So I just want to think about now how the blue and the brown overlap. And I can bring some of those bits of blue down right into the image here. Now one of the places where you can see a little bit of detail is on these big feathers here at the back. So what I sometimes do with these is just add in some really fine lines like this. Nice and watery, it's quite hard to see, but um, if you get really close to it, you can see the detail in there. It's just a nice little extra extra kind of piece that can come in. You can do it in a lighter blue as well if you want to. And it just kind of gives the impression of some of the textures of the feather. And I guess that's kind of the thing with texture. You don't need to fill the whole thing with texture. You can just add a little bit to one area and your eye sees it and it just makes it feel like the whole lot has that texture. 